here we are again, MCW. And your divas of this evening, Casey Cassidy and Savannah Summers. Two little girls that I have decimated time and time again and left broken in the ring. And I don't get a match? You know, I've been with MCW for a while now and I can sum it up with one little word. Disrespect. But, you know, MCW management, they're scared of me. They're afraid of what I can do. It all started last year when they made me a valet. But I went out there, I did my job. I had Jacko's back. If someone interfered, I put a stop to it. And then Tommy Hellfire comes out and kicks me in the face. Where was Jacko then? And then everyone's favorite MCW golden boy, Matt Silver, picks me up above his head and brain busters me into the floor. It was two very valuable things I learned from that. One, I couldn't count on Jacko for anything. And two, the MCW fans cheering for that sort of thing are the most pathetic bogans I have ever laid eyes on. But at least MCW management has the sense to be scared of me, unlike Shazza McKenzie. Let me give you a little bit of history between me and Shazza. At Wrestle Clash, I left her unconscious in the ring. And the next time when we fought one-on-one, -on -one, it took me all of five minutes to knock her out again. And then in January, they tried to look after their little princess and make it a three-way. I then proceeded to beat Savannah Summers and Shazza McKenzie. They so badly want her on the posters and the DVDs, so you little perverts will line up around the block to come and watch your Barbie win. But there's one little thing you're forgetting. I am bigger, I am tougher, and I am just plain better than Shazza McKenzie. So if that little idiot thinks that the fourth time's gonna be a charm, I have no problem reminding everyone that I am exactly what I say I am. I am simply the best women's athlete in the country today. And at New Horizon, I won't just leave you unconscious, Shazza. You'll be at the emergency ward.